Hey everyone, welcome to another Jeff the IT Guy video. Today we're going to continue with our Raspberry Pi 4. And in this video, we're going to set up our IDE. We're going to do Visual Studio Code. That way we can do more than just um, Python. We can do, you know, JavaScript, HTML, CSS, and all that. And we're also going to make sure that our Raspberry Pi is using Python 3. Um, and this is going to prepare us for a couple more videos down the line in which we're gonna look at how to use your Raspberry Pi as a web scraper. And so we're gonna look at scraping Indeed and taking all that information and putting it into a MySQL database. And so let's go ahead and get started. Um, first thing we're gonna to do to install Visual Studio Code is this website, which I will link into the bottom. This is a guide on how to do it. Um, there's other IDEs that you can use, however. Um, I wanna use Visual Studio Code. So what we need to do is we need to open up a terminal, which will be over here. We'll make it a little bit bigger. And we need to type in sudo space dash s. And this is so that we're in the root and we're just going to copy paste this command here. And we're gonna hit enter. It's going to go ahead and do the, the build and everything. So we'll go ahead, we'll wait for it. It's going to download and install the package for us. And it'll just take a couple minutes and then we will be uh, ready to go. So it's done and now we're back. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to look and make sure that uh, code is available now. And it should be under accessories. Code OSS is what it's called. We'll go ahead and we'll open that up. We'll give it a second and boom. Here we have Visual Studio Code on our Raspberry Pi 4. And we can install any of the dependencies we want, um, you know, so we can install support for JavaScript, Python, PHP, all of that. And this is what we'll do all of our coding in. We'll use it um, in this, and then we can just copy and paste it into our web server if we need to be. So, so now that we've installed uh, code and everything, now we're gonna work on installing Python. And so I have switched to a new clean terminal. There's nothing here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna type uh, Python dash dash version. This is going to tell us that we're using Python 2.7.16. So now we're going to type nano and the tilde that's to the left of the one key dot bash RC and this is going to show us our bash file. And we're going to scroll down to the bottom. We'll give it a little bit of space. What we're going to do is we're going to type in alias Python we're going to say equal uh, and then a Single quote, it's gonna be slash user slash bin slash Python three. Like that. We're gonna hit control X, we'll save it. Okay, so now we need to reload that file. So we're gonna say source. Uh, it's gonna be another tilde slash bash RC. It's going to reload it for us. Now, if we do Python dash dash version, we should see that we're using version 3.7.3. And so now that we are using 3.7.3, now we can do beautiful soup, which we'll uh, need for our Indeed script. And so what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead now and install pip. And to do this, we're going to say sudo app dash get update. So we're going to go ahead and update our system. Okay, we're gonna say sudo app-get install python3-pip three dash P -I -P, or pip. and so we'll go ahead and all right, install it so it's already there so we're good and now we're gonna go back to our dash file and instead of typing this in you can actually just use the up key and go to where we went back to the, to the um, to the bash file and we're going to say alias pip 
is equal to pi3, like so. We'll just hit Control X, there we go. So that's good. And so we need to reload this, and so we'll just use the source. Like that, and then there we go. We've restarted it. So now we can just type in something like Python, right? So now we're using Python, and we can start using Python code. So let's say print hello world. This is the, um, the go-to uh, thing to do with your code. And so if we print, it's going to be hello world. Um, you know, if you hit exit like this, that'll get you out of it. And then um, you can use the, the Vim like pseudo nano, and then you can create your Python file, um, which you can do. So uh, we could say something like pseudo nano, um, we'll say scraper dot pi, PY, we'll call it pi. And this is gonna give us a blank file. We can hit control X and it's not gonna do anything. It's not gonna save it. Um, and that's how we would, you know, do something with it. So what we could do is we'll say, um, <clears throat> let's create one called pseudo nano hello dot py, like so. And in this, we'll just say, we'll do the same thing. We'll say print, um, we'll say hello world again, like so. Control X to save, yes. And then now that we're here, we can just say Python 3, or you can just do Python. Uh, Python hello.py, PY, and there you go. It'll give you a readout, and this is how you can do scripts and commands and stuff like that. So now that we've installed Python 3, or we didn't install it, but now that we've changed the configuration of the server to allow us to use Python 3 as well as PIP, we're now ready to move into other Python-oriented um, things that we're going to do. And so we're going to look at creating a web scraper. I hope everyone's enjoyed this video. If you've liked it, give it a like. I hope this has helped. There's a lot of cool things you can do with the Raspberry Pi, and we're going to continue to do those. So I hope everyone has a great day. Thanks.